It has been said, safety is at the heart of everything we do. My grandparents are very special to me, and I will do anything to keep them safe. My grandfather, in particular, Nicholas Selakova, is currently 86 years old, and he recently lost his ability to drive. My uncles, my aunts, and even my mom kept telling him that he was unable to drive and eventually took his car away. He has suffered numerous strokes and he has problems with his vision and he is uncapable to drive. Today, many adults his age have these same conditions or worse and they're still getting behind a vehicle and driving. According to the Institute for Highway Safety, 7,700 individuals that were older than 65 were involved in car crashes and eventually passed away. 270,000 of these individuals were also involved in the same car accidents and were treated in hospitals for their injuries. People over the age of 80 should not be allowed to drive. There are various problems that exist with these individuals driving. For example, aging can result in a reduction of strength, coordination, and flexibility. Specifically, a person's vision is not the same at the age of 80 years old. There are also various diseases of the eyes, in particular their cornea, that can be affected. This can result in infection, injury, or even exposure of chemicals. Doctors recommend for these patients to take certain medications. However, these medications can cause drowsiness in these patients, and these are the ones that are out in our streets that are driving. Another eye disease that exists today is known as the, the cataracts, and the cataracts are our ocular lenses and these can also be affected and affect our vision. One of the more serious types of diseases is glaucoma, and this is the optic, it causes optic nerve damage and eventual loss of vision. These symptoms are not shown until later on in the disease, however, it can eventually result in a person losing their vision altogether. Another issue that these individuals have is poor reflexes. Some things that cause these reflexes are sudden lane changes without even looking drifting into other lanes, and even braking and, ex and accelerating suddenly. This an incident actually occurred at my friend's house recently that her grandfather was getting ready to leave out of, from a graduation party and he confused the, the brakes and versus the accelerator. In the end, he was very proud, he was very frazzled and it took him a while to calm him down before he was able to drive home. Heart attacks, strokes, and aneurysms are also things that can occur while driving for people who are over the age of 80. There was actually a study that was conducted for people over the age of 65 that, that and they asked them what are some symptoms that can cause a stroke to occur. And one of these things was driving while in traffic. Traffic can cause lots of anxiety, lots of stress, lots of stress, which can eventually result in a car crash. Although, although these are some reasons why people over the age of 80 should not drive, people feel that these, these individuals are still capable of driving. These individuals that are older than 85 actually practice safe safety conditions. For example, they wear their seatbelts and they're not driving under the influence. In addition, people feel that by taking away their ability to drive, we're taking their form of freedom. And without this type of freedom, they're pretty much confined all day in their home. Another reason is that lots of these, a lot of children of these older adults are unable to take their parents to these appointments and to the grocery stores, so it's just very easy for them to give them their car keys and to allow them to drive to these different places. Nevertheless, people who are driving over the age of 80 are were very different drivers at that age compared to what, when they were in their 50s and in their 60s. Specifically, we should start and make sure that we stay on top of our health and that includes especially our, our older our older loved ones by checking their eyesight and asking their doctors what medications are affecting their eye vision and that can cause issues in their driving plan of action as i'm concluding my speech i asked you guys specifically my audience to really take this idea of this homework that i'm sending you guys to follow and in particular i'm encouraging you to tell your loved ones that are over the age of 80 not to drive. In the end, they're, they're, not, not, they're not the only ones that are at risk. Those who are also on the road that are affected with car crashes are also at risk. It will also reduce the number of lives lost due to car accidents. They, these, are three, these three main points are very important when it comes to people driving over the age of 80. And this all has to do with 
great risk factors that exist in these individuals. For example, poor vision, poor reflexes, and even they have greater risk of cardiac and vascular issues while driving. People over the age of 80 should not be allowed to drive. And I encourage you to tell your loved ones who are over that age not to drive because at the end of the day, we want our loved ones to have, we want to have a fruitful relationship with our loved ones. And, you know, it would be such a shame if, you know, our, our loved ones pass away because they're behind the vehicle and we were not informed of the issues that, that could happen if a car crash were to occur.